My name is Beth Schroep. I am a uh, faculty member of the Department of Surgery at New York Presbyterian Hospital, Columbia University Medical Center. And I'm pleased to announce that we have just completed our first two total pancreatectomies with autologous islet cell transplants. Pancreatitis is a, a disease, basically, it's, it's characterized by inflammation of the pancreas. Some patients may eventually get to the point where every day they're having pain, every day they're taking medications, and they can't live this way. In those cases, we might consider removal of the entire pancreas to try to remove the source of the ongoing pain. So in times, in, a, in instances where removing the entire pancreas is required or suggested for either chronic pancreatitis or other diseases, we're removing, of course, all the cells that make the insulin. These cells are called islet cells. In benign disease, such as chronic pancreatitis, it is reasonable to take the organ that's been removed and kind of shake out the islet cells. These cells then can be re-infused into the liver. Hopefully they will take or they will uh, uh, gain nutrition and they will start functioning and making insulin. So the primary goal of a total pancreatectomy for chronic pancreatitis is, is pain, is treatment of pain. As a bonus, in probably about 50% of patients, we can at least delay the onset of diabetes with the islet cell transplantation. So we are now the only um, center in the greater New York metropolitan area in the state of New York that performs this procedure. But it is, I think, a great benefit now that, that we are here and we can offer this treatment to patients.